Hey, hi guys, how's it hanging? How's it going? Alles goed? Awesome, that's great to hear. I'm coming back at you with a late, pretty late. This is like four days or five days after the event coverage I'm supposed to bring you. But unfortunately, due to protocol by Konami or through the event coverage themselves, unless I am, I guess, press or have a press pass, I cannot film anything, unfortunately. So I'll see what I can work out in the future for those type of events and I'll see what I can make happen. But there's no promising that. In other news, um, Kevin Vakota and Machine Emperor Weisel had both feature mats. One win, one loss. Uh, the one outstanding spectacular win was when in game two, Yepa Pavicorn ha had a Winda, which is a spellcaster, Secret Village of the Spellcasters, one set monster shuttle Falco or Shadow Monster, and also a Thunder King. Wow, that is heart wrenching. <laughs> and then he tops the XL Rageki for game, which is just really greasy. That is just some really dirty stuff. And the one loss given Vakota, even though it was his first time, he did exceedingly well making it into day two, which was way better than yours truly, of course, um, for his first time, which is awesome. And he faced against Infernoids, which is a deck that I played, but he played one deck, one card different than me. He played Arc Lord Christia, which has the effect, it's 2800 meter, which is relatively big for what it is, it's a level eight. <clears throat> So I mean, if you ever get a chance to get to special summon any outside of it, if its effect is negated, you can make rank eights with it, I guess, which is kind of cool. And neither player can special summon, and when you summon it, or when it's special summoned, you can add one fairy from your graveyard to your hand. And you can only special summon if you have exactly four fairies in your grave, but that's not really the point. You're reasoning into it because your opponent is always going to call wrong, and there's a Christian. <laughs> there you go. So your opponent basically needs to deal with this Christian, and then from then on, you can just play your regular Infernoid game. So it's just a really cool tech choice. Um, the other cards that we're seeing a whole lot of play in recently in the tournament was a whole lot of main deck hate against Necros, being Effect Veilers, Maxis, and Mistake. Mistake was one of the most biggest biggest blows to the deck whenever the, the matchups would be ensued since there was a whole lot of main deck hate against them. So Snackross is a pretty favorable deck and just so happens that Necros still end up winning the event. I guess they top deck relatively well or they were able to blow their opponents out of the water before they could have been able to finish off their game plan because they can still play normal games. It's just going to be a lot harder for them. Um, then for me, I guess what happened to me was that I, being the dumbass that I am, I ended up being late for registration, so I had to think of, had to end up taking the first round loss, and then losing twice against um, Volcanics and against Tutters. And then after that, I just went undefeated because I was like, I don't really want to play any... Um, I don't want to play any side events at the moment. I guess you could win a cross card virus, a clear wing synchro, and a dark matter dragon, or a blaze man, depending on like the road card rotations and what you could and couldn't choose. But I really was not feeling that at the moment. I just kind of wanted to play the main event, see if I could clinch a day two, because I kind of was feeling pretty confident about my deck. I was missing one mistake at a time, but that didn't matter too much. I didn't fight against any of the Necros matchups that I kind of really wanted, so I guess that's the thing. Um, I played against the five wins that I did pick up, I think were two Tellers, one you sent you, um, and then two other favorable matchups. Oh yeah, and then two Shadows. And the Shadows players were kind of like, I really didn't want to play this matchup, and then I played against one Teller that basically had almost no idea what my deck did. <laughs> So he ended up citing in a whole lot of cards that just didn't really do much. So like Maxis and Veilers and just a whole lot of non-productive things that just didn't help him too much. But it were fun games. I'm not belittling my opponents in any, in any sort of fashion. They played really, really well. 
and it was just a really fun time that I had. Um, that's kind of it for me. I'll put up a deck profile, I'll put up some tournament coverage information for you guys in the description below so you guys can take a look at that. Cause that's pretty awesome, Machine Emperor Weisel and Dutch Duel Network. And then hey, yours truly if you want to stop and take a look at my crappy videos or whatever, that's also possible. Because you know, you're awesome, I'm awesome, we're both awesome. Let's, let's work something out with this awesomeness, huh? And have a wonderful day.